So guys, what the hell is this metaverse? How does it work? How will it impact our life, our economies? And is this gonna be a problem or will it come up with a lot of opportunities? Let's find out in this video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sandesh Prasad. I'm a chartered accountant and you're watching Just Philosophy. So let's get started. Facebook company has recently changed its name from Facebook to Meta because it's introducing a product called Metaverse, which is fictional virtual universe because it does not exist in the reality. Now, by definition, you can call it fictional, but we don't call it that. We call it augmented reality because this virtual reality gets mixed into the actual reality in a way that you don't see 100% of either of the two. It's real world mixed with virtual fictional world and what you get is the augmented version of this. So it's basically your VR games which you would might have played or seen but it's literally expanding that from gaming environment to the actual whole world and that's why it's called worse, meta worse kind of including the whole universe. For metaverse to exist, we need software support as well as hardware support. In terms of hardware support, we have Oculus and handles in place, but that is not very convenient for the whole public to start adopting to it. So this is gonna be replaced by ultimately with augmented reality glasses and the handles will also be replaced initially with some bulky EMG devices, but that will ultimately be replaced with your smartwatches. So you just need to wear your smartwatch and it will capture all of the hand motions. But Elon Musk has problem with these two things as well. He just wants a chip in our head and then boom, all done. Let's see how it works. With Metaverse, you can get real life looking avatars, which means you can be whatever you want. You can be any gender, you can be any race any color even you can be any creature as well basically you can be out of your boundaries with metaverse you can actually live out your fantasies you can have a dinner in front of eiffel tower you can visit himalayas or any other place uh, you can do skydiving without moving your ass you can party with your friends and even if you are in a long distance relationship that doesn't matter because you can be with your girlfriend all the time or maybe that's not a good idea but anyways you can go anywhere do whatever you want all you need is a good internet connection and a sofa seat that's it with teleportation and metaverse remote working can become more collaborative that means doesn't matter if you belong to a very small village as long as you have a good internet connection you can be employed in a big silicon valley company Learning will become more interactive in metaverse. For example, whatever you use to just read and explain to everyone now that can be shown to everybody in real life. Think about visiting a museum and uh, watching a live dinosaur. Metaverse will also increase our productivity significantly. Just think about it. You're getting bored, you're out of your focus and you want some change. All you need to do is simply just change your environment. You're getting bored in your room, boom, just go sit on top of Mount Everest and do your work there. Or go to a beach or river or jungle or maybe concert if that suits you. In terms of writing, we are basically moving from keyboard writing to virtual writing, which will ultimately be replaced with either writing by voice or just thinking about it. Metaverse is not very far away, by the way. They have already significantly advanced in terms of software as well as hardware. And it's just a matter of time when we start experiencing it. Let's talk about the impact of Metaverse on our society as well as on our economy. Some of the products will become obsolete when Metaverse comes. For example, mobile phones, you won't need those. Even Apple has made an announcement that maybe in a decade, we will stop making iPhones because no one would need need these. Also, any type of screen, monitors, TVs, even your iPads, tablets, all of these are going to be obsolete. 
product branding as well as the way the companies advertise will also become different products will no longer come with uh, a lot of branded and uh, expensive packings they would be a very come in very simple packing along with a barcode which is registered with facebook or meta or metaverse and your glasses just need to look into those have a look at those uh, qr codes or barcodes and that's it the computer will read the image and it will show you the product with all of its specifications maybe it start popping maybe it's a start dancing and you, you just need it. the job market will also see a lot of shuffling for example you no longer need engineers drivers civil workers cleaners rather a lot of demand is gonna come for graphics designers and people in it cloud computing those kind of things since you can teleport you no longer need to transport okay? which means there would be less cars, less plants, less trains, less delivery wins. And this is going to impact a lot of economies, isn't it? Along with all the excitement about Metaverse, one thing which is very alarming is that it's pretty scary, isn't it? One can have significant concerns over Facebook's data privacy. We know how notorious Facebook is about the way they handle our data. We are talking about giving our data on measuring brain activity levels. Metaverse is gonna know you more than you know yourself. Just because we have given all of the control over what we see and what we hear, we would might lose touch of what actually reality is. Misinformation and algorithm biasness is gonna be much more impactful in metaverse the algorithm tends to show you only the things which you like so that you can spend more and more time on the platform which means if you hit something it's not going to show you as if it doesn't exist at all if you like if you are part of one religion it's going to show you that this religion is perfect this political party is good only this tech brand is the best in the world if you think you should not have covid vaccine the algorithm will show you all the negativity around the world which discourages you to get your COVID vaccination. If you even believe that COVID is fact, it gives you all the Baba Ji Ka Tot case, which you just have it and it's just a normal flu and cold. When you are sitting with someone who is teleported to you, you don't really know whether it's your friend who is talking about something or whether it's Mark Zuckerberg. If your friend's account is hacked, you will be just sitting with a cyber criminal without even knowing about it. Because of this technology, the physical activity will be reduced significantly, which means more obesity, more heart attacks, more anxiety, more depression, you name it. The other scary thing about metaverse is pornography. It will be much more interactive and appealing with the augmented reality taking into picture. It may not be on Metaverse, but with the technology which Metaverse use, other porn websites would use the same technology and hardware you can simply use Facebook's hardware to access any other uh, platform as well. But the most scariest part is that humans will become immortal. You would have an electronic presence an artificially intelligent software can capture all of your expressions. It can record your voices. You just have to feed it once and then it can mimic your voice. It can mimic your behavior. It knows your personality. So with the history, it can project future. And once someone you love actually dies, you can still see them around you by them having an electronic presence in metaverse. They would be able to talk to you with their original voice. Actually, artificial intelligence is doing that. But it will be so real, it will actually mimic the personality of the loved ones. And that is something which I believe is the most scariest part of augmented reality. But hey, let's face it. It is going to be inevitable. Just like internet is not an option anymore. anymore. You need it for your work because you need that level of productivity which is required by your employer. You need it for your social circle because all of your friends are there. You need it because your real life kind of sucks and virtually you are far better than what you really are. If you are liking this video, 
please click the subscribe button thumbs up and show me your support just like any other technology metaverse will also bring a lot of opportunities content creation and graphics designing is gonna be one of the demanding fields going forward meta is creating a new marketplace called horizon marketplace which is for nfts and virtual merchants and all of the brands will ensure that they have their presence nike gucci lv even pepsi have already started making their nfts and we have already we already have systems and procedures in place to establish ownership of any digital art which is known as nft and now you know why nfts are being sold so expensively so you can be mindful of the fact that when this horizon marketplace comes you should also be prepared about selling something there apart from that you can invest in currencies which will be accepted in horizon marketplace you can also invest in uh, vr or ar related games because that is going to be the future and you can also choose your career wisely because it's going to be changing a lot hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in next time